Okay, let's see where we are. Oh, uh, we have erased all of yesterday's losses for the Dow. We're almost there for the NASDAQ, and we have erased all of yesterday's losses for the S&P. Right now, we're looking at a NASDAQ record. I want to get right to Jason Katz. He's the managing director and senior portfolio manager, private wealth advisor for UBS Wealth Management USA. Uh, let's talk about the, the award you just got. You were just named Euro, by your own money as what the world's best for wealth management. So talk to our viewers who are either wealthy or dying to get wealthy. Where are you saying to put some money? This is an environment that you have to proceed with caution. We've obviously come off a tremendous rally subsequent to the inauguration. Um, so the $200 billion that was announced yesterday. Uh, announced, but it's a threat. You're talking about the China tariffs that the president says he's ready to put into place, but they have not. Precisely. Mm -hmm. So if that does come to fruition, which we put a fairly low probability on, um, we think the scenario is that puts a cap on upside. But by the same token, because earnings have been and this quarter are likely to be tremendous, coupled with all the other strong economic numbers, we also think there's a floor in the market as well. So we're looking at a range bound market. Your wealthy clients, where are they heavy and where are they light in sectors in their portfolios? Well, from an asset allocation mm -hmm. perspective, with their fixed income, we've shortened duration just to protect against interest rate risk. Which is exactly what Mohammed Alarian just said to do. So one, two, five? Uh, five years? Laddering so? portfolios no further out than 10, 10 years. Okay. Yeah. And then from a sector perspective, well, really from a style perspective, we much prefer value now. There's been such a concentration of performance amongst growth stocks and the FANG stocks, accounting for like 60% of the move in the S&P. And we think that companies with strong balance sheets, high free cash flow, those are the areas that we're focusing on. Energy as well, right? Oh, without a doubt. I think I've said that two or three times since we've been on with you. Yeah. Still beat the drum on energy. Yeah, and, and you've been right. You've been right. That's Jason Katz of UBS. Great to see you. Thank you so much.